Marvel's corniest and most archaic Avenger is back in the sequel to 2011's Captain America. Subtitled The Winter Soldier, this latest outing features Gung-Ho versus Shadow as the Cap faces off against the mysterious new nemesis, a one-man wrecking crew with a face mask and mechanic alarm. Most of the intelligence community doesn't believe he exists. The ones that do call him the Winter Soldier. He's a ghost. When we first rejoin the captain, reprised here by Chris Evans, he's working side by side with Natasha Romanoff, Scarlett Johansson's fellow S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, to take down some pirates in the Indian Ocean. You know, if you ask Kristen out from statistics, she'd probably say yes. That's why I don't ask. Too shy or too scared? Too busy! But they later learn of Project Insight, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s drone missile program that looks to eliminate criminals before they commit acts not unlike 2002's Minority Report. But who really are the bad guys this time? The script has some muscular set pieces, an elevator ambush scene as a highlight, but the writers also broach themes of unease and distrust, making for a more thoughtful and complex type of action film. Captain America learns the hard way that much like the superpower he symbolizes, the imperfect modern world doesn't offer perfectly moral choices to difficult situations. And sometimes, you can't even be sure what the problem really is. So while there's lots of popcorn munching to look forward to, the movie comes wrapped with some Watergate meets 9-11 paranoia, making for the best kind of blockbuster comic book outing. A film that tweaks the brain, but dazzles the eye. For TheStar.com, I'm Peter Howell.